Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I am here to talk about some of these sick-ass people here in the YWC and in the IWC, to be more specific, actually. So, there's like some phenomenon going on amongst the smarks, amongst the marks, amongst the um, New Japan crowd. They're talking about some wrestler, Tanahashi. Some no-namer, some, somebody that nobody even cares about. But anyway, he's a big star in Japan. So, you know, they're going to get a lot of people saying, Oh, just because you don't know him doesn't mean he's a big star. Yeah, okay. So, you know, he's, he's not really on a national TV program that anybody watches. I guess you could see him on Access TV because, you know, everyone's watching New Japan. All eyes are on New Japan, right? So, Brian Alvarez... And other people like Ryan Sadden, these people, these like derelicts of society, they are obsessed with the man's hair and they will not leave the man alone. Like, or really the concept of it. They will not get off it. Especially Brian Alvarez. This man like sent out a thousand tweets. He's on like his podcasts with, with Meltzer, where even Meltzer says, oh, I don't really think about the guy's hair like that. And they're all obsessed with his hair. This guy Tanahashi, this Japanese dude, they're all obsessed with his fucking hair. It, like, I've never seen anything like this before. Where, where, where they're like, not, not even really talking so much about his wrestling skills anymore. They talk about that too. But now they're just all up in arms over the guy's hair, his fucking follicles coming out of his fucking head. And it's like, why are they so obsessed about this? And don't they think that's a, it's a little bit weird to obsess over another man's hair? I, I, I mean, Brian, you, you, you're married and you're obsessing over the guy's hair. And he's talking about how he couldn't wait to see him. I think he was at WrestleCon or something. And he, and he couldn't wait to take a look at the guy's hair. He was like so in love with it. He couldn't wait to get to New Orleans so he could take a look and stand next to the man's hair. And the funny thing is they wanted to interview him. And, and, and all these like interviewers are asking him about his hair. I mean, well, you know, Tanahashi, I, I don't know how great his English is or, or anything like that, but like, what is this man thinking about all this? I'm sure that he probably knows about it a little bit. I mean, he was being asked questions about it. So I don't know, you know, if the language barrier was there or if he's fluent in English. But for fuck's sakes, the guy must be thinking, what the hell is up with these crazy ass fucking Americans? These, these crazy ass American fans. They're all asking me about my fucking hair. Guys. Chill out about the hair already. It's just hair. Brian, you've got a wife, you've got a kid. Honestly, man, just 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 stop. It's it's getting really creepy. You know, oh, I can't wait to get to New Orleans. <laughs> Can I just go about his hair. <laughs> Brian, it's just hair, man. Sad. It's just hair, man. It's, it, you know, it's the hair on another man's head. Give it a rest, guys. You're, you're creeping us all out. This has been your YWC champ, and I'm signing out in a freaked out state.